Hi, my name is Michael Becker and welcome to today's installment of the M. Cordes Thought Leadership Series. And with me today is Sarah Woodward, the Director of Business Development from Stable Kernel. Sarah was recently recognized last December as a 2016 woman to watch. And I was hoping to have and invite Sarah here today to be able to talk to us as to what she's doing that makes her uh, so important to be paying attention to and watching. So with that, Sarah, I'd like to hand it over to you. And first and foremost, congratulations on uh, the recognition, definitely deserved. And as I understand it, you're one of 25 women that was recognized by Mobile Marketer as a woman to watch. And in fact, you're the only startup uh, woman from a startup in that list. So that's just absolutely fantastic. So can you let us know, what are you seeing? What's, what's going on in the industry and what are the trends that you're following? Yeah, thanks so much, Mike, for having me. Um, it was quite an honor to be counted among women from huge brands, uh, global brands, so I'm very excited. Uh, we are building a strong company, I feel like, here in Atlanta, and um, really trying to get our fingers on the pulse of what's going on in mobile and how we can best help brands um, create and roll out mobile products that either reach their customers or their employees or even channel partners. So some of the big things um, we focus on is IoT, and that is connecting mobile to hardware and devices. So in the next year, we really strongly feel that connected home is going to become even more forefront than it already is. Brands like AT&T Digital Life are really pushing to get a lot of uh, connectivity for homeowners um, through, say, home automation and security. Um, brands like uh, Google and Amazon and Nest are increasing um, their position in the space, just trying to harness some of that uh, momentum with people demanding more connectivity and control over their homes. And they want it, they want it not an analog experience anymore. So um, we'll really see some more movement in that area. And IoT is nothing new, but mainstream certainly is now getting to be more aware of it. So that's one of our focus areas is strengthening our work in that space. And now let's pause for our sponsor or, you know, in the sense that what does your company do? So, you know, maybe a quick 20 second commercial on what you guys do and, and how you fit within that uh, introduction that you just gave us. Sure. We are an app development consultancy. So we like to think of ourselves as a company's product team. If they don't have the in-house capabilities to develop mobile products, we're that thought leader and that trusted advisor who can guide them through the process and then build them amazing software to meet whatever business objective they're trying to achieve. So what is the role of an app within this IoT theme that you see un unfolding over the next uh, 12 to 18 months? Well, the app is just the vehicle that allows the homeowner or whoever it is to interact with that piece of hardware. It's what's conducting or conveying data between the hardware and the homeowner or the business owner who's harnessing an IoT application. So is it just about connecting a device to another device for flowing of data, or is it about curating experience and bridging the digital and physical? Can you expand on that a little bit more? Sure. Obviously, everyone is buzz terming uh, the age of the customer, and we're really focused on that as well. And brands are just trying to make sure that customer experiences across all channels is consistent and premium and uh, companies that come to us to build IoT applications are just wanting to give their customers uh, an added value with the products they're buying. So it allows them more control over, uh, in, in some of our clients' case, energy usage in the home or ability to automate those things. Okay. So is the role of IoT, in, say, and since we're talking about the home environment, just mm -hmm. about utility? Or is there a way for a consumer packaged goods company or a brand or some other uh, uh, organization to get involved? Or is it strictly the, you know, the security monitoring uh, utility players? I think there's a role for CPGs and other companies to get involved, but they really have to think about why first. It can't just be a marketing ploy. No one cares about a marketing app in just the strictest sense of marketing. It needs to have a task, it needs to be utilitarian so it actually improves and adds value to the life of the customer. That being said, you know, 
if a washing machine somehow has a tied, you know, a tied application extension or something, that might be pretty cool and it's relevant, right? Um, but we just try to counsel clients to make sure that they have a business case and a real reason to go to market with an app that does that kind of thing. Yeah, for example, I got Alexa for Christmas on the Amazon Echo. Yeah, and I'm, I'm loving it. And one of the interesting things is the connection between the Amazon Echo in Alexa and Campbell Soup and that you can actually get recipes while you're interacting yeah. with this device through voice commands. Right. So, so, so your big overarching trend you believe in the next, uh, next uh, foreseeable future is this role of mobility in its way it's connecting the consumer experience within an IoT. Is, is, that, is that it or do you have one or two others that you want to leave us with? As far as trends for- Yeah, as far as trends that you see going forward. Well, you know, I think that uh, customer experience is evolving, you know, um, Smartphones as they come out, form factors are getting bigger, screens are getting larger. The um, relevance of video display, video consumption of content, those things are all going to evolve more just because we have bigger screens to view content on. And so, you know, when you're thinking about what kind of experience you want your customer to have in the app environment, um, screen is certainly going to give you more real estate to offer more features within the environment, uh, expand your messaging just because you have this real estate. Uh, so I think that form factor is definitely going to have an impact on how we market to our clients and how we market to customers. Now that we are hyper aware of data and the role of collecting data plays in how we reach customers and how we tailor their experiences, I think we're getting smarter about how we actually use that information. We've been collecting it for a while. We know it exists, but how do we use it to move forward to create that better experience? And I think that brands who do it really well um, while still respecting the customer's right to privacy are going to see a lot more success in the relationship they create with their customers just because they're really thinking about what the customer is looking for from them because they've got data to show behaviors along the customer journey. So as, as data analysis and implementing new strategies based on data continues to evolve, I think that a uh, more hyper targeted customer experience is going to really create a lot of value for both the brand and the customer. Fantastic. Unfortunately, we're out of time for this session and we'd love to invite you back later in the year. Uh, so with that in mind, I'd like to again congratulate you on your recognition, uh, definitely deserved as a 2016 woman to watch from Mobile Marketer. And we look forward to watching these trends that you've shared with us evolve over the, over the coming months and years. So thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you.